guys welcome back welcome to pouring your heart out and thank you for joining me i'm going to do a pearl pour and i'm going to do it in um, these colors because the last one i did was quite bright it had all kinds of colors i think it had pink and purple and blue and gold but just going to do like shades of bluey greens with the silver so these are all extreme sheen by deco art that one's silver this one is aquamarine that one is deep sapphire and sapphire so I'm going to use those now I've mixed these equal parts of paint to flow troll um, I was trying to get 15 grams but it was such a tiny little bit I ended up with 20 so 20 grams of that 20 grams of that so that's what's in here and my black I've made it a little bit thinner and I've got less black because you know how last time I had that big black center well not the one where I swiped but the pre the previous one I had quite a big black center so I've got got my black in here I've got 80 grams of black artist loft flow acrylic but you could use any black I've done it with the Montmartre it works as well <clears throat> um, so 80 grams of black paint 80 grams of flow troll and then I've got 25 grams of water. So trying to thin it out. Tiny, tiny little mound. So that's my black. Right, I've got my torch ready to go. Get my gloves on and we will do this. So hopefully I won't get so much of a big black center with the slightly thinner black paint. Because the first time I did it, I had 120 grams of each paint and flow troll and 20 grams of paint then I did 100 grams with 20 grams of paint and now I'm doing 80 grams with 25 grams of of water sorry so we'll see see if it's any better now these you need to have these colors thicker so they leave a mound on a mound you need to have the black thinner so what I thought I'll do is I'm just going to kind of do do a bit of a squiggly pattern Sort of like what I do with the blooms when I do my blooms, just to try and get a little bit of different colours coming through. Oh, that one seems a bit thicker. Because if you just do puddles, the, the puddle on the outside kind of all gets tipped out. And I don't want to lose one particular colour by having it on the outside because it'll all get tipped off. So I want to blend them. And that way I should get multi-colored cells or pearls well they're not cells they're pearls someone called call, called a um cloud per oh, can't talk a cloud pour a pearl pour but it's not it's totally different clouds are with um satin enamels pearls are with these metallics it's it's just a different process it's different ingredients Yes, they're both round and pearl shaped, <laughs> but I don't think they're, apart from that, I don't think they're similar at all. All right, but look, you guys call them whatever you want to call them. It's just how I distinguish my pearl paws from my cloud paws is one satin enamels. And um, one's not, <laughs> basically. All right, nearly there. Just making chit chat. Got the day off work today. So, getting some mold orders made up. Doing some painting. I haven't put a video up for a couple of days because I've been working. Gets in the way of pouring, doesn't it? All right, and there's a fly bugging me, flying around me. Righto, now they're black. So you can pour the black from up high, but the only thing is with that, it pushes down and then pushes your colors away. So you end up with more of a big black hole in the center. So I'm going to try and just pour it gently. <clears throat> I wonder what would happen if I like poured it. <sighs> You know, when you don't want to make a dent, you pour it over the back of a spoon or something like that. I wonder if, I wonder how that will work. 
probably won't do too much really. Still need black in the centre though, so I'll just do this and see if I can pour it gently. I don't know if that would make any difference at all, but we'll see. And it's thinner too, so it's going to drop down more. Hope it works, hope it works, hope it works. Get all that black out. This canvas is a 40 centimetre square, which is a 16 inch. So for those of you that don't know how to do the pearl pores, we've got the black there. Now we need to quickly go over each corner, over and back, over and back, over and back. Do it with me, over and back <laughs> and really stretch it out. So. Let's do this. No silicone oil in this. See the blacks rolling over the colors. And back again. Oh, you want to go that way. Okay, off you go then. You can go that way. Over. And back to the middle. Change directions. Go quick. No dilly-dallying around. Just get it done. Over and back. I'll turn it around now. So we can see, it's going to be quick, otherwise the pearls that do pop up are going to overstretch and be, become um, like wobbly instead of nice and round. So do it quick before these guys up here have got a chance to overstretch. Sorry if you can't see, I'm just going for this over and I'm going to come back again. I do want to come back again if I can. Otherwise, these, I won't get any pearls up in this top corner. It's the rubbing of the paint that's going to create your pearls. So you need to go over that corner and then back again. The last corner, you tend not to have as many pearls because there's not much paint left to come back. Oh, it's looking pretty. See, some of my cells of pearls have overstretched and gone a bit sort of wobbly over on the edges but I'm hoping they will come back into shape um, I did have less paint as you know this time I had less paint so whether or not I need to go back to more paint but keep it thinner so that I don't overstretch things we will see that remains to be seen but let's torch and see if we can get some more gorgeous little cells up hey pearls Cells. Oh, I don't know. Clouds. Whatever you want to call them. They're pretty. It looks like I'm getting some more in the centre, actually. I can see little things popping up in the centre. Maybe that um, making the black a bit thinner is actually going to pay off today. So I can see them trying to pop through. There. Might still be a little bit on the thick side. They're having trouble coming through. I can see them, I just don't know whether or not they will be able to come through. Maybe not. Right, now we just have to leave that. Light off. Leave that for a little while. Colours are really pretty. Yeah, I don't know if, um, do you hope we get some more in the centre? Big black centre again. Oh, I don't know. Go away, fly. I could see them trying to pop up through there. Another torch. I guess I'll just have to wait and see. I'll come back to you in about... 15 minutes or so and uh, I'll see if anything else has popped up but um, yeah I, I don't know I'm not that keen on the the shape of these pearls because like I really had to stretch stretch everything mm, I think I might go back to um, more paint so I don't have to stretch it so much, but thinner. And see how that goes. Hmm, might try that.
but I'm liking the blending of these colors. All right, I'll come back in 15 minutes. Right, oh, it's been about 15 minutes. I don't think any more pearls are going to pop up, but I have got much less black in the center. Now, this was one I did the other day. I'm trying not to drop it in. Look how big the black center is there. Can you see the difference? See the difference? There is definitely a difference. So, thinning the black down has helped but um, see the pearls in this one there's a bit of a balloon dip there <laughs> I just thought I'd try it but didn't really like it um, see the pearls have kind of stayed more round whereas here they've they've kind of changed shape a little bit I think it's because they were overstretched so I'm gonna go again I've picked my colors for the next one I'm gonna go again with more paint more black paint but thin it out even more and uh, and go again. But yeah, you can definitely see the difference, hey. Now, let me get you down for a close up. And uh, we'll have a little look. Look at the, the silver, it looks like flashes. Come around here, I'll try not to get the ring light in the way. So they're not really round pearls that kind of a bit wobbly like cobblestones still pretty see I like these ones here see there's these ones in the center here haven't had a chance to um, I guess get misshapen like the ones on the edges have because the ones on the edges really got overstretched whereas the center ones They've just popped up um, and they've just sort of stayed in shape more. So that's the difference. So definitely going to have to use more paint so I don't have to overstretch, but make it thinner so that it just glides nice, nice and evenly over the, the colors. Oops, got my finger in the way. It's a bit glary. But anyway, when it's dry, I'll show you the finished product because it looks much nicer when it's nice and shimmery. And it's a bit glary in here. I've got the ring light on, I've got my spotlight on, so it looks a bit glary. But I'll take a nice photo and put it up so that you can see the colour contrast. It's really pretty. Right, well, hopefully you've enjoyed that. Hopefully you've learnt something. Have a go at a pearl pour. They're really easy, really well, you just have to get your consistency right. If you're using American Flow Troll or the European Over Troll, you'll need to add more water because it's thicker. The Over Troll's the thickest, then the US Flow Troll's medium, and then the Aussie Flow Troll's the thinnest. So you just have to add more water if you don't have the Aussie Flow Troll. Anyway, hope that helps. Have a go. Put your photos up on, um, on my Facebook group, Pouring Your Heart Out. I'd love to see them. And uh, I'll see you for the next pour. I've got my colours all set up. Do you want to see them? Do you? Do you? Let's go and have a look. There they are. There's my colours for next one. So hopefully that'll be nice. All right. Back over here. <laughs> all right. I'll see you real soon for the next one. Stay safe. Bye for now.